Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the various respiratory organs of the respiratory system of human beings. So the first we have discussed about the trachea that is the windpipe. Now the trachea, this is the trachea as you can see in this picture. The trachea actually divides to form the first part which is known as the primary bronchi. So this area is known as the primary bronchi. Now this primary bronchi again divides into two halves that is the left primary bronchi and the right primary bronchi which is entering into the two lungs like the left lung and the right lung. Now the right primary bronchi is quite thicker, wider and shorter than the left primary bronchi. Now the each bronchus they further divide repeatedly it keeps dividing and branching to form the secondary and hence further tertiary bronchi. So more amount of branching occurs in case of this uh, primary bronchi. It leads to the formation of secondary and tertiary bronchi. Now the tertiary bronchi it leads to the bronchioles. It forms the bronchioles later and the terminal part of the each of the bronchioles it is covered by a structures known as alveoli. So what are alveoli as you can see over here this is the structure here this structure has been zoomed over here. Now these are the alveoli. Alveoli are nothing but bag like irregular shaped structures and these are actually the sites for respiration. The proper exchange of gases that is exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place in these areas. Now let us talk about the next type or the next organ of the respiratory system that is the lungs. So lungs these are the most important organ of the respiratory system. Lungs they are comprised of the bronchi, the bronchioles and the alveoli. So all these parts, all these uh, parts of the respiratory system bronchi, bronchioles and the alveoli together make up the lungs. These are actually located in the thoracic chamber. We have human beings have two lungs. Now these each of these lungs they are covered by a double membrane layer and these layer they are known as the pleura, pleural membrane. Now these are double layered. Now in order to avoid friction there is a fluid known as the pleural fluid in between these double layers. In addition to preventing friction between these two layers or the double layers of the pleura it also reduces friction of the lungs and the membrane. It reduces the friction of the lungs also. So pleural fluid actually helps in reduction of the whole friction that can happen inside the lungs. Now let's talk about the next part of the respiratory system which is the thoracic chamber. Thoracic chamber it is an airtight chamber. It is basically formed dorsally by the vertebral column and ventrally by the sternum. The it is covered laterally by the ribs right from the front it is covered by ribs and the lower part of this thoracic chamber it is covered by a dome shaped structure dome shaped muscular structure which is known as the diaphragm. Now the change in the volume or any change in the thoracic chamber is properly reflected in the lung capacity. Now let us talk about some of the major parts of the respiratory system. Basically respiratory system can be divided into two major parts. The first part is known as the conducting region. So from the name we can understand it is basically conducting the air right. So it comprises of the external nostrils then the terminal bronchioles. So from the external nostrils to the terminal bronchioles it is made up it is termed as the conducting region of the respiratory tract. Now what are the functions? It transports the atmospheric air into the alveoli. Alveoli we know this is the area this is the point where exchange of gases take place. It clears any type of foreign particles because it is lined by ciliated epithelium. Now because of the presence of these hair like cilia the any foreign particles that may enter into the windpipe or the trachea is cleared by the movement of the cilia. And it also humidifies and maintains the temperature that means it increases the moisture con content of the air and also maintains the temperature of the air increases the temperature of the air and maintains similar to that of the body temperature. The second region after the conducting region is known as the respiratory or exchange region. So from the name we can understand here the exchange of gases will take place. So this comprises of the alveoli and their ducts. So this is basically the site for diffusion of gases and because of this diffusion 
the exchange of gases like carbon dioxide and oxygen can take place in our lungs. Let us now talk about the steps which are involved in the process of respiration. The first step of respiration is the pulmonary venation. This includes the inhaling of air. Now this air is inhaled and the oxygen is taken in to the blood and carbon dioxide is exhaled out. So this process is known as the pulmonary venation. Now after this the gas diffusion across membrane occurs. So across the membrane of the alveoli, the sac like structures, oxygen is diffused into the system that is into the blood and from the blood carbon dioxide is taken out and it is exhaled out through the nostrils. The gas transportation by the blood. Now the blood which uh, has come to the alveoli, it is now rich in oxygen. Now this oxygen is now transported to all the cellular parts, all the cells and tissues of our body. Now after this transport, the diffusion of the gases between the blood and the tissues occur. So the blood here is now oxygenated and the, uh, the carbon dioxide is present inside the cells. Now the blood will in turn take the carbon dioxide and the oxygen will diffuse into the tissues for performing various metabolic activities. Lastly, the utilization of oxygen and the release of carbon dioxide. As I have already mentioned that this oxygen is now utilized to perform various metabolic activities and the carbon dioxide which is produced because of these metabolic activities is transported back into the blood and the blood will now carry back these to the lungs and this carbon dioxide is exhaled out. So in this video we have talked about the various respiratory organs and we have talked about the various functions and the structural details of the respiratory organs. I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.